plant water relation and the topic is transport of water root absorbs water from the soil in this video we will see how this water minerals and food is transported from one cell to another cell we'll study about dpd osmotic pressure turgor pressure wall pressure water potential let's start this is pure water it only contains water these are water molecules which are free to move they are moving freely that is pure water has maximum energy kinetic energy that is water potential to move so pure water has maximum potential they move with maximum energy and it is represented by psi so water potential of pure water is zero means with maximum potential maximum energy the water potential of pure water is zero under zero pressure since there is no obstruction water potential value cannot be in positive for pure water free energy per molecule in a chemical system is called chemical potential and chemical potential is water potential now if we add sodium chloride in this pure water it will diffuse let's see the effect of sodium chloride in pure water in first case in pure water water is moving freely it has maximum water potential zero but here sodium is obstructing water molecule it is obstructing the movement of water so movement of water molecule will be decrease since sodium is obstructing the movement so we can say in solution when we add solute that is sugar or salt they will obstruct water molecule movement and its water potential will decrease so when solute is added in pure water its water potential will decrease let's see the formula of water potential water potential is equal to solute potential plus pressure potential pressure potential means pressure exerted by system this container is not applying any pressure so water potential is equal to solid potential plus pressure potential solid potential is minus 2 because it is always less than 0 so water potential here will be minus 2 so for pure water water potential is 0 if we add solute it will be decreasing now if we have plant cell in pure water plant cell contains minerals water sodium potassium this all are present means water potential is less than pure water in plant cell and water moves from higher potential to lower potential that is from this system water will move into the cell so water moves from less negative to high negative potential and the plant cell will become turgid since water is moving inside plant cell will become turgid let's see this in details this is a cell water from outside there is high water potential will move inside the cell through semi permeable membrane process is osmosis that is diffusion of water through semi permeable membrane so there is osmosis so when water molecule exerts pressure during osmosis it is osmotic pressure so water molecule move through semi permeable membrane by osmotic pressure now more water molecule will enter the cell till the cell fully swells up now because of this there is pressure from inside the cell on plasma membrane and cell wall it is pushed outwards this pressure 
is called turgor pressure so the pressure because of the water molecule from inside on cell wall and plasma membrane is turgor pressure the pressure develops inside the cell due to movement of water molecule inside the cell is turgor pressure it is from inside to outside of the cell wall since there is no space for water inside the cell now when turgor pressure is pushing the cell wall from inside same time the cell wall being rigid will push from outer to inner this is wall pressure so the amount of turgor pressure from inside there will be same amount of wall pressure from outside so turgor pressure is always equal to wall pressure when a cell is turgid when a cell is filled with water increase in turgor pressure there will be increase in wall pressure but in animal cell there is no cell wall hence increase in turgor pressure in animal cell the cell burst but in plant cell there is cell wall so wall pressure exerts from outside prevent the cell from bursting so increase in turgor pressure there is increase in wall pressure when the cell is turgid in plant cell turgor pressure is equal to wall pressure when the cell fully swells or cells become turgid there is no movement of water so this is wall pressure and this is turgor pressure imagine if cell is not fully turgid there is some space for water molecule so let consider if turgor pressure develops here is 10 pascal now this water molecule has to enter inside should have much higher pressure to enter for this water molecule to go inside obviously more than 10 pascal pressure is required if pressure is less than 10 inner turgor pressure will not allow water molecule to enter inside if here if there is 12 pascal pressure applying inside turgor pressure is 10 then outer water molecule will enter inside the cell by deficit of 2 pascal this is called diffusion pressure deficit dpd dpd is equal to osmotic pressure minus turgor pressure that is wall pressure so here osmotic pressure is 12 turgor pressure is 10 so dpd will be 12 minus 10 that is 2 when cell is fully turgid then osmotic pressure is 12 turgor pressure is 12 means there is no movement of water outside water will not enter inside means in fully turgid cell dpd is zero cell is full of water that outer water will not diffuse inside now if cell is placid means there is no water in cell osmotic pressure is 12 turgor pressure is zero because inside there is no water molecule and that's why turgor pressure is zero so let's see this here cell is turgid is filled with water dpd will be zero here cell is placid dpd will be 12 water moves from higher potential to lower potential means if these two cells are in contact with each other water molecule from turgid cell will move into placid cell that is water moves from higher potential to lower potential means we can also say water moves from lower dpd to higher dpd so please note movement of water is always from lower dpd to higher dpd like this water moves in plant so water movement in cell is due to dpd diffusion pressure deficit now let's see over here this is cell a osmotic pressure is 50 turgor pressure is 
and Selby, osmotic pressure is 40, torsion pressure is 20. Here DPD will be osmotic pressure 50 minus torsion pressure 20, that is 30. And here DPD will be osmotic pressure 40 minus torsion pressure 20, DPD will be 20. So the moment of water will be from cell B to cell A. As I said, water moves from lower DPD to higher DPD. Let's see one more example. Your cell A, osmotic pressure is 40, torsion pressure is 20. Cell B, osmotic pressure is 50, torsion pressure is 10. So here DPD will be 20 and here DPD will be 40. The moment of water will be from cell A to cell B. So in short, osmotic pressure is a pressure by which water molecule moves inside the cell. Torsion pressure builds up inside the cell. To counteract torsion pressure, cell wall exerts wall pressure. That is why torsion pressure is equal to wall pressure. So please note water moves from higher water potential to lower water potential in a cell or it moves from less negative to high negative potential then water moves from low DPD to high DPD